Hello again. Christ is risen. Christos anesti. Swahili? Christo amefufuka. Response, queli amefufuka. Thank God we can be together once again on our little video chat. And the article for this week is called Living Traditions. We are celebrating the second Sunday after Pascha. And in that celebration, we hear about the myrrh-bearing women once again. We're celebrating them twice because we already celebrated them on Holy Friday and, of course, on Pascha. Along with Nicodemus, or if you prefer the pronunciation Nicodemus, and also Joseph of Arimathea. I just heard a quote that is really applicable to this particular article this week. The quote is from Jaroslav Pelikan, who is a Christian scholar and writer. He was a Lutheran Christian and became Orthodox Christian, interestingly enough. And he said this about tradition. He said, tradition is the living faith of the dead. <clears throat> Traditionalism is the dead faith of the living. Isn't that wonderful wordplay? So important to think about that, to assess where we are, because Orthodox Christianity, along with every other faith tradition, has tradition and the concerning aspect of that, which is traditionalism. And so we need to assess where we are in that, because we want to have living faith, because we believe in a living God. And so we invite you this week to read the article, of course, and to reflect on the questions and think about those questions in light of whether we are experiencing a living faith. Last Sunday, we had a sermon, a message about the, the virtue of judgment, and the virtue of judgment requires impartiality, hearing all sides before making a decision. In order for us to judge whether or not we have a living faith, we need to know all sides of our experience and how we're learning our traditions and making sure it's a living experience. We can also, and potentially should, judge our, we can say judge others, in a very hesitant way in this idea of virtue, but to assess and make sure that our brothers and sisters in Christ are having a living faith and enjoying tradition and not falling into traditionalism as well. But like we said on Sunday, and as we know, the virtue of judgment is its own unique category. Judgment among Christians has its own steps and process. God has his own judgment as well. Going back to our topic at hand, which is living traditions, God willing, you will look at the discussion questions after reading the article, that there is some inspiration in the article. You can share the discussion questions with your family and your friends. <coughs> Pardon me. And we look forward to praying together on Sunday and worshiping our Lord who is risen. Enjoy the weekend. Until next time, with love in Christ. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen.